Hey guys, Adam Retro Moments here again and we are doing it. You know what we're doing. Can you recognize that sign behind me? I think you can. We are going to hard off. Here it is. Are you guys ready for this? I'm not. All right, here we go. All right, guys, so let's get on this. I can see game stuff immediately here. We got some controllers. Looks almost brand new, I would say. What did they go for? 800 yen. They're a little bit more expensive in US and Europe, where they go for about 12 to 13 dollars, I would say, in good condition. So it's, it's a fair deal. Yeah, that's good if you need to stock up. You can never have too many controllers, you know. And the rest of this is just Wii and GameCube controllers. There are loads of that everywhere in Japan. Alright, what do we get here? Game and Watch, 6,000 yen. I think that's what they usually go for, unless it's some kind of rare edition. Alright, let's move on. PS4, 36,000 yen. Let's take a closer look on the boxed games here. 25,000 for a PC engine. Stuff we didn't get in Europe. Pretty cool. The Castlevania Round of the Blood is much better for this actually. So I suggest that if you like Dracula X on this NES, play it on this system instead. And here we have oh, 6000 yen. We're talking about a Sega Saturn. Very neat box actually, it's very small. That's really cool. And there we got a PS2 8000, maybe not the best price. But here we have an ice blue N64 going for 5000 yen. Too bad the box is a bit beaten up, but uh, otherwise pretty nice. And last but not least, box Famicom, looks pretty good. 5000 yen. And then we get newer generation consoles, even though Wii U is kinda old now. 10,000. And the uh, boxed Wiis are going for just 2,000. The Wii is pretty fantastic since you can play a lot of older games on it too. And the black one with the Wii Sports Resort, 4,000 yen. Alright, here you got something you don't see every day. It's Atari's portable console, Lynx. That was a direct competition against Sega Game Gear and the Game Boy Color. It's not a bad console by any means, but it just never got to be as popular. Oh, and look here, a golden N64, 4,500 yen. Cool. Oh, and this is interesting. This is the Panasonic 3DO, one of the most expensive consoles to ever come out. I believe it's the second or third most expensive console. So much hype and uh, such a failure. Even though there were some great games for it like Gix and Samurai Showdown. And behind here we got some more consoles. SNES, more N64, Sega Saturn. Ooh, clicky joysticks are the best. Love that arcade feel. Boxed Dreamcast controller, super good shape, 2000, whoops, need to call my game nerves there. Moving on, more arcade sticks, wheels for GameCube, and here we got a boxed arcade stick from uh, Hori. They usually make quality sticks, so definitely recommend it. Ooh, Time Crisis 2. Super good game, even though number 3 is probably my favorite, but this one is a close second for sure. Super cool, cover art, really liking this one, wish I could buy it, but uh, it takes up way too much space. Gun Survivor, Resident Evil, never played this game, always wanted to play it, Code Veronica. Gotta get on this someday. Resident Evil has to be one of my favorite Capcom series. 
I definitely recommend anyone to play the latest Resident Evil 2 remake, it was fantastic as well. More arcade sticks from Hori. And here we have uh, something from Gundam Wing, Japanese stuff. Alright guys, here we go. It's the junk section. What do we got here? I guess this is some... Uh, it's a fake one. Looks almost like the American version of the SNES console. Have we got some consoles in here? 2700 for a Super Famicom. Looks pretty good actually. Yeah, definitely okay condition. A Mega Drive, 4000 yen. Looks pretty good too. And here in the behind we got N64 Gold. 2000 Yeah, and there's more Super Fam comes in there and there's also the Game Cubes, of course 300, 500 Really shabby Famicom PS2 and of course Arcade Sticks, they're everywhere Super Famicom games. So I've already been looking through here, and of course, this was one of the highlights. Still not the best price, but this game is pretty intense. It's really cool. I'm sure we didn't get it in Europe, uh, but it was probably released in the US. And then there was also Bomberman, 500 yen, but uh, the box is super broken, so it doesn't really feel worth it. And let's see, there was also a good looking Street Fighter, two bucks, why not? Two bucks. All right, let's see here. And then the Super Famicom games. Mario Kart 200 yen. And there was also something more here. Samurai Spirits, 300. And if we look in this one, yeah, it's the same old stuff that is usually here, actually. That looks like a cool game. One dollar. Mario Kart again. Yep. Of course, also some Game Boy games. Mario Land Classic. 300 yen. Totally fun. I totally recommend it. There should be... Uh, Vario Land 2 was also here for 300. Game Boy Pocket 800. Screen is a little... 
damaged, but other than that, it should be working okay. PSP, 2000 yen. Why not? PSPs are actually still holding up in value pretty good, actually. And of course we got controllers, Dreamcast 300, most of them here are actually 300, and of course the light guns, they're always here. You don't really find CRTs in Japan anymore, actually. 500. N64 controllers are usually a little more expensive. Yeah. Let's check the other one too. Yeah, let's keep going here. Some special edition big boxes here. Monster Hunter G, a thousand. PS Vita, Metal Gear Solid for PS3, 300 yen. Japanese games, as usual. Big box Zelda to N64, 2000 yen. Super Ghosts and Ghosts, one of the best games on SNES in my opinion, super fun, a thousand with the manual, so essentially 10 bucks. Yeah, Bomberman 2, 800 yen. And here we go again, Donkey Kong Country, or Super Donkey Kong as it's called in Japan. Perfect condition, 500 yen. Five bucks, guys. And the condition is absolutely extraordinary. And the same goes for uh, Super Donkey Kong 2, 500. Yeah, pretty amazing. Such a good deal. And do we have anything more fun here? Star Fox, what does it cost? A thousand here. And I don't think that there was much more than the usual stuff here. Yeah. That's about it for the SNES games. You can see Dreamcast here. Power Stone, if you haven't played that game, it's a super fun 3D dimensional fighter with items and uh, stuff like that. I'll put some gameplay here. Super good game. And we also got, let's see here, I saw it here somewhere before. Not this one, but that looks pretty interesting. Let's see here, Street Fighter Zero Free, Crazy Tax 800. We get the King of Fighters, SNK Neo Geo style fighting game. Very good one, very good one. Zombie Revenge 1500, I own this game already. Super fun beat em up street game with weapons. Yeah, that's about it. These figures are pretty much everywhere in Japan. Japanese people are crazy when it comes to collecting. 
Let's see if we can find anything more interesting here. I don't think so. We've been looking through here already. So that's it for this time. Remember to comment, like and subscribe so you don't miss my next hunting videos. See ya!